Hey, what's going on everyone? MBG here. Thanks for checking out today's video. I do appreciate it. So in today's video, I want to have a discussion talking about whether or not we can actually expect to see some Xbox One only exclusives and exclusives that don't go over to Windows 10. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because recently there was an interview done. It was a uh, Major Nelson actually interviewing Phil Spencer himself, and I'm just going to kind of paraphrase what they were saying um, and get to the important part. And uh, Larry Herb or Major Nelson basically asked Phil, you know, what is the importance of PC and PC gaming when it comes to Xbox? And obviously, Phil went on to explain that, you know, it's very important. It's more important now than ever and to, to Microsoft and just the whole thing they're doing over there. But at one point, he says, you know, there's going to be games that release just on PC, and then there's going to be games that just release on Xbox, and it was very interesting to hear him say that, and we could maybe kind of chalk it up to maybe he was just misspeaking, or he misspoke, or maybe it just didn't come out the way he intended it to, but, you know, Phil usually has a lot to say, and it's... I would like to think that he didn't misspeak here and that he was actually trying to allude to something. You know, maybe I'm looking a little bit too into it, but the big question that a lot of people had after hearing this was, or hearing this interview was, well, is he pretty much, you know, saying that now there actually, there's, there are still going to be Xbox console only exclusives. Um, and I personally would like to see this happen. I would like that to be true. I would like to see there be games uh, that are brought exclusively to the Xbox One that only stay on the Xbox One and don't actually go over to Windows 10. I feel like it could only really help Microsoft and the Xbox brand. I just don't really understand the idea of putting every single exclusive on the Windows 10 as well. It just, I mean, I guess it, it, it does make sense, like, talking about, when you look at it in, like, a broader view and a bigger perspective where, to the company, it makes sense and when it comes to the business aspect of things. But I'm really talking about this more from the perspective of just a gamer here. Uh, not so much, you know, the um, uh, armchair analyst or whatever. I'm just trying to kind of understand, you know, I'm just trying to make sense of what we can, you know, what Phil's saying, what we've seen done so far, and what we can kind of expect to see going into the future. And like the big question I think a lot of people have, and I have talked about this before on my channel is, you know, the next Halo game, Halo 6, is this game coming to Windows 10? You know, because Halo 5 was a game that was exclusive to the console and never did come to uh, Windows 10, which was interesting because you would think if there was any game that Microsoft did want to put on Windows as well, it would have been Halo 5. And it's hard to say if maybe they were holding out purposely. Maybe they thought, well, you know, let's do a test run with our 2016 exclusives. Let's see how it goes. And now we're in 2017 and maybe it didn't go so well. You know, maybe they, th they thought there would be a bigger return or something you know maybe the numbers just weren't there maybe people aren't buying games on windows maybe nobody's playing on windows i really don't know uh maybe what he meant when he said that there will be some games that come just to windows 10 and some games that just come to xbox maybe what he meant is like there's only going to be games that are cross uh play or play anywhere where it makes sense you know like a game like halo wars 2 it makes perfect sense for a game like that a game like gears of war 4 I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure that that game needed to be a Play Anywhere title or needed to come to Windows 10 because the last time I checked, and I could be wrong about this, but the last I heard, I think it was like a 9 to 1 ratio where like 90% of the player base is on the Xbox One and only about like 9 to 10% are actually on uh, Windows 10 PC playing. And it's almost at that point like maybe it would have just been more beneficial to just keep that exclusively to the Xbox One. Now... It is anybody's guess if Microsoft will uh, backtrack on this whole Play Anywhere thing or the whole, you know, Xbox One, Windows 10 thing. Uh, anything can change at any moment. I do feel like, however, if nothing does change, if every single exclusive 
that is exclusive to the Xbox One console also comes over to Windows 10 PC. I don't think it'll be nearly as big of a deal as people make it sound. There's a lot of people who get all hysterical about it and make it seem as though the Xbox brand has just suddenly become irrelevant because you can play their games on PC now. Um, I will admit that to a certain extent it does, you know, water down the Xbox console a little bit and it does devalue it ever so slightly, but it's not nearly as big as people make it sound. Uh, I've said this time and time again, uh, but you know the gaming, the gamer in me really would like to actually see Microsoft keep some games just exclusive to the console. I mean, I think it would be smart of them to just keep Halo exclusively to the Xbox One because if they let that game go to Windows 10 as well, um, I don't know. To me, Halo is Microsoft's biggest system seller. You know, like if there's any games that Microsoft has that have the ability to really push console sales, it's definitely Halo, more so than probably anything else. Uh, you could argue that maybe Gears of War has that power as well, but there's just something about Halo and the the, the fans of the series and the love of that series and the, the roots it has in console gaming, um, even though it has been to PC before as well, but I think you guys understand what I'm saying, where I've, I really... I really would like to see, even if it is just Halo, maybe that is the only game that stays exclusive to the Xbox console. I think it would still go a long way. Um, but now, the there's a part of me that also kind of feels like with Microsoft doing this, it's like, I don't, I feel like it should either be all or nothing, if that makes sense. Um, like, even though that kind of just contradicts what I just said about how I would like to see some franchises remain exclusive just to the console, at the same time, I don't want to see, you know, Microsoft and the Xbox division over there become, like, really inconsistent and confusing because if they were to start doing this thing where, like, some games are exclusive and then others aren't, others are coming to Windows 10 as well, it can get, like, really confusing to people and it can really send out some mixed messaging and that's the last thing Microsoft needs, obviously, is mixed messaging or to have issues with their messaging but if you know they should really just do the all or nothing thing uh, and, and what I mean by that is if, if they're gonna go with this whole play anywhere Windows 10 thing like all the exclusives are shared by you know in, a, in one big giant Microsoft ecosystem then just keep it that way you know either that or if it's not working out the way they thought it would just cut it then you know, just cut it, just get rid of it, and once again make Xbox exclusives just exclusive to the Xbox console. Because if they start doing this half and half stuff, to me that's just going to come off strange. You know, at that point I'll just be kind of scratching my head wondering like, well, what, you know, what's the real point of this other than to just confuse people, you know? Um, I feel like they should really just go one way or the other, and if I had to put my money on it, I would say that, yeah, they're going to continue to go down this path where it's going to be Windows 10 Play Anywhere and Xbox exclusives are not just going to be exclusive to the Xbox One console. I just, I don't see Microsoft backpedaling on this. If they did, it would shock the shit out of me and it would really surprise me. It would really surprise me if when Scorpio is announced, they announced that all Xbox One games going forward will be exclusive to the console, the Xbox consoles now, once again, which if you think about it, that would be a strange announcement, wouldn't it? Like, oh, we announced last year that all your games are now on Windows 10 and no longer just exclusive to the console. But now they're exclusive again to just a console. It would be a really strange thing. And that's another reason why I don't see it happening. Um, I don't know. I thought I thought this was a strange thing for Phil to say. Because it's just like one day, you know, they're, they're trying to convince us that everything. It, it, it's, it's about accessibility. It's about being able to play where you want, when you want. And we're convinced that every Xbox exclusive is going to be a Windows 10 game as well. You know, Windows 10 and Xbox, they go hand in hand. And then the next day, he says something like this in an interview. And it's like, uh, which is it? You know, what do you mean some games are going to be just on Xbox now? Like, I'm, it's, it's just confusing to me. That's all. It's like I, uh, I would like... I would like for Phil to kind of clarify this. And hopefully at E3 this year, they will. I mean... I'm sure every game that gets announced at E3 or every game that's shown off at E3 this year, they're going to do that thing where it's like, 
Xbox One, Windows 10 exclusive, you know, before they actually show the game. And it will be interesting. Are we going to see like two or three games up there that just say Xbox One console exclusive, you know, and there is no Windows 10 logo? Uh, that would be a weird thing. Uh, it, it's really, it's anybody's guess at this point, you know. I think it, you know, it, I'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled for what else Phil has to say on this matter and what else he, uh, you know, if he's going to clarify the statement or if he's going to, you know, have any more interviews or make any more comments about what to expect from future Xbox One exclusives. Because for all we know, he could have just been talking about Halo 6 when he said that. You know, for all we know, the only franchise that isn't going to go to Windows 10 could be the Halo series. Uh, we don't know. We really don't know. Um, and I I don't know. I, I just think this whole thing is a little bit confusing. And like I said, I feel like they got to go one way or the other here. Because if, if they don't, they're just going to risk really making things more confusing than they already are for some people. Because for me right now, nothing's really that confusing. But for some people out there, you know, when the Play Anywhere program was announced, some people were very confused by it for some reason. And I just, I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see, guys. I, I thought it was an interesting statement by Phil nonetheless. And hopefully he will clarify it soon and kind of give us some more insight on what he meant by that. But that's really going to do it for this video. Uh, what I would like you guys to do is let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Phil's comment? What do you think about him saying that some games will just come to Windows 10 and other games will just come to Xbox? What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that maybe he just misspoke or do you think that there's really something behind this and something more significant than uh, than we're aware of? Uh, definitely let me know your thoughts. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated as always. And if you are new and haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel if you want more Xbox and gaming related content just like this. But until next time, guys, take care.